Hey everybody, how's it going? I figured for this week that I would do a little video on uh, the upkeep on my tower. I've got some free space. I'm going to put some new plants, some experiments that failed that we're going to replace with. Um, yeah, so, oh yeah, also um, people have been cooking their hydrogen to disinfect it properly, so I'm also going to try that. I don't know how long I'm supposed to cook it for. I'm going to do like 45 minutes at 350. Okay. Like a good chicken. Okay. So I've never done this cooking the hydrogen, but hey, let's try it out. So I've got my hydrogen here that I've rinsed. And I'm gonna cook it. Okay, so these are the seeds that I germinated last week, these new seeds that I got. Um, I'm really bad with like knowing exactly what is what but you know this guy here has got some roots i'm going to test it out i have two of them i think that one has more roots and we'll grab this other one i'm going to transplant this i have four spots so i'm going to transplant this see guys this is the corn but it's got roots so i'm going to transplant it so what happens apparently it needs more heat so being in the tower close to the light might help and you know what i think I think I'm going to leave the rest, I'm going to let it germinate, germinate longer. So I'm going to put them in these two. I'm going to put the corn on the one that's actually closer to the light. And I'm going to put the other one that's sort of in between two lights. I always notice that the plants that are closer to the light grow a bit better. And as I showed you guys last week, I'm going to lower my top pot here I you know I can bring this out a little bit more the reason why I'm going to lower it I, I, if the corn picks up then I just want it to have a bit more light here at the top and this one here you see like I'm bypassing a full pot so it's going down here I'll just leave that one as is and see what happens and then transfer accordingly all right A quick update on the hydrogen while I'm cooking it. I can clearly smell the moisture coming out of there. So yeah, this might actually be way better than what I've been doing, which was just rinsing it with water and a little bit of vinegar. Like I've never had problems doing that, but you know, might as well try, try something new that's a little bit more thorough. All right, we still got 30 minutes on this one. All right, so for germinating, finally, I'm gonna do all three that are showing uh, roots coming out because that's always a sign that allows you to do this. Uh, like I said, again, I don't know exactly what plant this is, um, but the roots are out. And this is the corn. It's got the roots out, but it's not showing anything. So anyways, these are the three that I'm going to transplant. So another thing, too, that happens when you lower your pots and you've cut these too short at the very beginning is that, well... This kind of causes a problem. So the solution is you grab a bit of your extra tubing and you basically just make an extension. So I got to do two more of those. Okay, hydrogen has been cooking for 40 minutes at 350. Smells like dry dirt. I guess it's a good thing it doesn't smell like moist you see some of the white stuff here just I've like willy-nilly put some in there that still had salt but uh, I, I don't know yet but my feeling on this is that I'm sold I'm a uh, cook your hydrogen when you clean it guy now okay so I've got my freshly cooked hydrogen I put it in cold water I've got my three netting pot A nice little base here that's enough never want to put too much in there because i mean look these these coca cola are big and i never place it in the center directly i always place it like on the side a little bit so that the hose that's in the center doesn't go directly on the coca cola okay all three are ready to go in the tower let's do it okay so transplanting is done so i've cut some extra white 
tubing here so that uh, I actually get the full length. This one here is not right in front of a light. This one here is right in front of the light. So we'll see the difference in terms of how they grow. And then the ultimate, I don't know what the hell's gonna happen, test, the corn, which still hasn't sprouted, but it had roots. And this is actually a neon light bulb compared to LEDs. Uh, yeah, so I still have one neon light bulb on my tower. Technically, this area is where is going to be the warmest, and somebody suggested that corn liked heat. So that's about it. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so thanks for watching. Let me know what other videos you'd like me to do, things that you don't understand, things you'd like me to test, or things you need clarification on. Um, it's always a pleasure. See you all in the group. All right, take care.